Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Corvette L from our air collection. This is a medium sized family tent which is tunnel in design. It has two bedrooms at the back, it has a sealed living space in the middle and at the front a good sized porch area which we will show you in detail shortly. First of all though I just want to start off by talking you uh, through the frame that we use on this tent. So you may have guessed from the collection name, the air collection, that this is an inflatable tent. So in place of your traditional steel or fiberglass poles, you'll find that this particular model has four inflatable tubes. So what that means is it's really, really quick and easy to set the tent up and take it down as well. So I'll just talk you through how it works. We supply you with a double action hand pump, just like this one here. And on the top of the pump, you can see that there is a pressure gauge on here. So you can keep an eye on the pressure uh, when you're inflating these tubes. We would recommend inflating them between 8.7 and 11.6 PSI, which represents between 0.6 and 0.8 bar. So what that basically means is we're getting quite a lot of air into these tubes, which obviously makes them much more solid. The more solid the tubes are, the more stable the tent is. And we've actually tested this tent to withstand a force nine on the Beaufort scale. So you can be safe in the knowledge that you're gonna be in a good, solid, sturdy tent, even in the worst of weather. How it inflates is really simple. Each of these tubes has an individual plug-in point for the, uh, for the pump here. So you can see that it says air in. So as I say, you'll find one of these on every single tube. Underneath here is where the valve is. So it's a case of unscrewing that and attaching the pump in here. And it's, uh, once you start pumping it up, that tube's gonna go up quite quickly, actually. Underneath there, we have an air out valve, which is where the release valve is to let the air out of the tube. So as I said earlier on, not only is it quick uh, and easy to set up, it's also quick and easy to take down at the end of your holiday as well. So some other features on the tent. I'll start off with the fly sheet that we use on here. This is our Outex 5000 material. So this is a good quality 75 denier taffeta polyester material. It's been fully PU coated on the inside and all of the seams have been fully taped as well to ensure that it's totally waterproof with a hydrostatic head of 5,000 millimetres. So again, it's great to use in bad weather in terms of wind, but also, even if it's really rainy, you're going to stay nice and dry within the tent as well. We have plenty of ventilation around the tent. On the side here, you can see that we have this panel, and underneath here, there is a mesh ventilation panel on there. Uh, so that's going to allow cool, fresh air into the tent. There's more on the other side, of course, and across the back of the tent at the sleeping compartments, which again, we'll show you later on. If you do get a little bit chilly and you want to get rid of these, it's really easy to do. You just remove the Velcro tab in here and press this down like so, and that's just going to cut out most of the fresh air coming into the tent. We use our luminous guy lines all the way around the tent here, so hopefully that's going to stop you from tripping over them when it's a little bit darker. And all of these guy lines come pre-attached, so that's a job you don't need to worry about doing. Each of the guy lines also has its own retainer, which is what this little loop here is for. So when you come to take the tent down, you can wrap up the guy lines in your hand and pop them in here so that the next time you come to use a tent, the guy lines are going to be easily accessible. We also supply you with our easy pegging system with this tent here, and that's where we give you three different types of pegs. So you can see here that we have a solid steel anchor peg, and that's for the four corners of the tent. And this would go into all of the grey pegging loops on the corners. We then have the black plastic peg here, which is for all of the black pegging points around the side of the tent. And we have the luminous peg here for the luminous guy line. So it's nice and easy for you to make sure that you get the right peg in the right place. Around the front of the tent here in the porch area, you can see that we have these mud valances attached to the tent which is just going to encourage any rainwater to run down the fly sheet and away from the inside of this area. So this area here is uh, it's quite a unique uh, sort of space, actually, because what it really does is provide almost like an extension for the front part of your tent, whereby you can open up the front door like this and have this nice and wide open, invite a, inviting a little bit of the outside into the inside of your tent. Of course, if it's bad weather, you have a full waterproof door on the front here, which you can see we've just rolled away at the moment. It does have large windows, so if you are stuck inside, you can still get to see outside from there. And behind that, there's also a full mesh door as well, so that's going to allow for great ventilation within the tent, um, but hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs. Now, the front door itself is quite unique. Again, it has four zippers on here, so we can zip this fully closed, but then open it up from the top, which we can show you in detail. Mm -hmm. 
So a nice feature in the front of the tent here is this detachable ground sheet that comes with it. It is a good quality ground sheet. It's a double coated polyethylene material, so quite heavy duty. It's totally waterproof with a hydrostatic head of at least 10,000 millimetres. And as I say, it is detachable, so you don't have to have it in here if you don't want it. So separating the front area of the tent to the sealed living space here, you have this large dividing door. Now you can see at the moment we have it sort of zipped halfway across here, but that zipper does continue all the way around the edge here. So you can open this completely up if you want to have one large, big open space. As I say though, we have it halfway at the moment and you can see that we have this uh, mesh ventilation panel behind here. There is then another half of the door here, which can of course be zipped over completely closed and it you can see also has a large mesh ventilation panel too if it does get a little bit too chilly and you don't want this ventilation that's all right because there's a curtain behind here that we can just zip up to close that over so stepping back into this area here you have a good size space here good enough for storage maybe some furniture and things like that as well certainly plenty of head height in here i'm quite tall at around one meter 95 and i have plenty of head height above me I think the space is really accentuated as well thanks to the large windows all the way around the tent and um, we have a side entrance over here as well. Um, on this side we have the window which at the moment has got a curtain halfway up. This can be brought all the way up of course for full privacy or obviously rolled all the way down to as I mentioned there allow lots of light into the, uh, into the tent. Above the window is where you'll see we have a mesh ventilation panel that corresponds to a panel on the outside, so you could open that up if you wanted a little bit more ventilation. And as I said, we have the side door over here, which also has a full uh, zipped mesh door here as well, with the waterproof door on the outside rolled away at the moment. So at the back of the tent is where you'll find the bedrooms and uh, these come pre-attached actually, so that's another job that you don't need to worry about. So the first time you come to pitch the tent, these bedrooms are already in place. Uh, how we attach them is using our wave-shaped hanging point system across the top here. So whilst it looks like a nice sort of design and a nice finish, what it also actually does is take any of the stress points on the seam across the top of the bedrooms away by securing it with this wavy mesh across the top here. We have some other nice features, some pockets on the outside of the bedrooms. The bedroom doors have got mesh ventilation panels on them as well. Inside the bedrooms, there's even more to, uh, to talk you through. Down in the corner here, you'll find some good sized handy storage pockets. Across the back of the bedroom, there's a large mesh ventilation panel, which again corresponds to outside ventilation, and that does run the entire width of the bedrooms. You can then see that the bedrooms are separated using this zipped sheet here, so you can open that up as well to create one large bedroom if needs be, or as we have here, as a three person and a two person. You then also find that we have the zip in between the two bedrooms. So what that allows you to do is unclip around here and zip this open to drop one bedroom down, allowing you even more living space within here and leaving you one big bedroom. And we'll just show you that now in detail. So if I just move this piece of furniture out the way, I just want to show you a little bit of detail down in the corner here. So in this living space, we have exactly the same type of material of ground sheet as what we have in the front area. The only difference is that this is fully sealed in this area. So you can see it comes up at the edges and around the front to the side and to the back as well. So that's going to stop any drafts from coming in. It's going to stop things like dirt and dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Also, while I'm down here next to the side door, I just want to point out our cable entry point just here so you can zip this open and allow, that will allow you to bring your electrics into the tent. From that point, just on this beam here, you'll find that we have some cable tidies which run all the way up to the top of the beam where we have a lantern hanging point in a good central location. 
So we have a couple of optional extras available for the Corvette L, which would include a carpet just like this one here for the living area, just giving you a little bit more comfort underfoot. There is also a footprint available for the tent as well, which is a ground sheet that would go down first. Then you can pitch your tent on top of that, which is going to give you good protection on the bottom of this ground sheet, keeping it nice and clean and dry. So there you have it then. That is all the features of our Corvette L from our air collection. Thank you very much for watching.